Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Whoop. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been away for a hot minute. Not really away, but not with you. And so uh, thank you for hanging out and coming back. Um, I had an injury to the schnoz. Um, number one, this is my Star Trek The Next Generation shirt. Yes, it's my favorite. Um, I had changed my mask for my CPAP and we did this like Last year, we had this same discussion. I swear we did. And I it injured it, and then it just, it made it worse. So anyway, I've now graduated, ungraduated, matriculated. I've gotten down to the small Band-Aid size, which we have a Squishmallow Band-Aid today. Um, it was like much bigger. So I have not worn anything like makeup-wise for almost two weeks. Like it's been bad. So we're now... Back. Also, I had another peel, and so there was some sensitivity happening. Anywho, let's put some makeup on because I have some videos that I want to film, and I have some new stuff I want to use, and it's all on my vanity, so it's got to go. I think I need to put my actual hair up. So, let's, because it's getting on my nerves. On my nerves. I have a hair appointment in a couple of weeks for new color so i am stoked about that is that gonna hold no my hair is too clean i hate it when my hair is too clean because then it really doesn't hold we need a we need a chomper this one will work this is a chomper um because it just slips right out of whatever because it's it's uh, delightful but it also like sucks dirty hair is the best hair for like staying in places. Okay, so let's catch up on all the things as we put makeup on our faces. And I've got so much new to try. I will be avoiding Band-Aid area, so it'll be a little funny looking, but who cares? Um, it's just us chickens here. And then we can talk birthday, because that happened and is still kind of happening, and just like what we've been doing lately. So we'll catch up. Um, primer, I don't think I have a new one. Let's just use the putty, poreless putty primer from Elf. I had to stir it up because it was getting on my nerves trying to like get in there. And uh, I just, this, this vanity has been wrecked for two weeks. And I come in here to do my first aid on my nose because I have like a light and some mirrors that I can use to make sure that, you know, I'm putting the band-aid where it goes and things. Cause I have terrible eyesight and I usually wear glasses. That's also been a challenge recently because glasses, but um, I have enough that it's like, that has like the nose pieces on the sides so that it's not so awful, but it's still not great. Also like band-aids are causing injury, the bigger band-aids on my skin because we're a sensitive girly. Like it's, everything hurts us. We're princess and so it's been a, it's been tough, y'all. Let's see. Um, I have new, lots of new, but what do we want to use? I should have thought this out before we started talking, but here we are. Let's use, geez, let's use the Jason Wu Tinted Moisturizer Meets CC Cream. This is in Skin One. I have used this one time when I first got it. And I can't remember what I think. So, and I don't, we haven't done it on camera yet. That is very sheer. Okay, friends. So, hmm. Let's try maybe with fingers. Will we get better? Anything? A little bit. Okay. That's fine. We'll do, we'll do, we'll do light coverage today for, for this one. It's a really nice texture. I remember that. But it is not, it ain't no coverage. Not much, anyway. I mean, you can tell there's some right there. Like when we get all the redness covered, <laughs> there's some, but it's just not a whole lot. So my birthday was this week. It was on Tuesday, and today is leap year. Happy leap year to all of you leaplings who enjoy leap year. And on my birthday, because it was Tuesday, I had to work, you know, like normal. And I had a bit of a crazy day, but 
Mr. Mugwump and I got off work and he made breakfast for dinner, which is one of my favorite things on the planet. He had woken me up that morning with my birthday gifts and so I had, I'll tell you, I'll show, I have a haul um, coming shortly after this video or before this video, it depends. See the peeling, the peeling is still happening from the peel. Um, so he did buy me some beauty products. So we'll look at those together. And so I got my birthday presents from him that morning. But my birthday is going to be spread out a bit this year. My sisters are coming on Saturday and we're going to work on some of our crafty projects together. And we're working on a quilty thing and so they're going to come and hang out with me while we work on the quilty thing together and we'll have, we'll have lunch it's not like a birthday party we're just going to hang out and we'll have a good time doing that and then we're going on Sunday out to eat there's a new Korean barbecue place here in town and we're going to go there and try that out I've never had Korean barbecue before and so we're gonna go do that I am not the bravest when it comes to trying new food but you never know you never know what I will do to surprise you so we'll see how that goes um I am Mr. Mugwump's very excited about it because he does really like trying new things um so we're gonna go for that. But tomorrow we're taking the afternoon off of work. We are going to our, we have a bird sanctuary park here and near here. And so we're gonna go there and we have a animal encounter scheduled in the afternoon. And it's just the two of us and the uh, educator who will be like handling the animal. I don't know what animal it is, which is very exciting. It could be a bird, but it also could be a reptile. They have reptiles there as well. So don't know who it is, who we're going to meet, but I'm super excited to meet it. <laughs> so I'll tell you all about it when we get back. Uh, and if we have pictures, I'll put those up so that you can see those because I'm super excited to meet this thing, but we'll see. Okay. That is that skin tint. It's pretty nice, I would say. Um, I put on the Flower Beauty Bright Eye Under Eye Corrector just a little bit under my eyes um, to kind of brighten that up a little bit. And uh, the Lemonade for Benefit Eye Primer to set or to get my eye primed. And now let's see here. Let's set real quick, um, kind of lightly I'd say, today with our old standbys. Um, and then... Well, I've got a new powder. Hold on. I've got a new powder. Hold on. Hard, hard. Hard, hard, hard. If I don't have a new something, I've been using like the things I'm trying to use up. But if I have a new something, I'd like to use it. So let's use that. This is the J-Cat Intense, excuse me, Indense Mineral Powder. Uh, it looks dark as all get out, but let's try it with maybe a floofy brush. As I hit that, this is one of the dubious place brushes that came in a set and it's beautiful I think this was the was it the Black Friday or the I can't remember it's really pretty I'm just avoiding the spots that have issues this is literally in two weeks I have not worn any makeup and it's been sad because I miss it so much y'all know this is like my, my me time in here that I like Come and hang out and do what I like. That's actually not a bad powder. It looks really, really dark in the pan. It's not super light. Look at the flaking. I wanted to peel. <laughs> this is my third one. And I have my next one in another two weeks. I'm trying. I'm trying to see if we can fade some of the sun damage. Um, my freckles are okay. It's not like I hate them. But... I definitely would like to see if I can get some of the larger sunspots just kind of toned down some. This is the world's tiniest 
eyebrow pencil. It's an Anastasia one. I wish you could hear Tiny snoring because she is going to town. I'll try to put some pictures of Tiny in here. I hope I remember to do that after I, I'm done filming so that you can see. She's had some real doozy snoozers recently where she is just, she looks crazy, y'all. We've done, we've had, we've had a little bit of stuff going on recently. Let's see here. We, some of this is like the most boring things in the world. And some of y'all are like, they can't possibly want to talk to me about these things. But then y'all say things like, that you like talking about. You, you like when I sit here and just talk. Like we're friends, but we are friends. But you know what I mean? Like I just sit here and run my mouth. Um, so it's one of those videos. Um, we had our house like power washed. It took two days. That is a mind numbing sound. We work from home and I am downstairs facing the street and the sound of like the generator battery thing, the power washer thing. At some time there was like a chainsaw noise because they were also trimming hedges and such. I, I mean, I, it was slowly, you don't need to torture me. You just need to like have some sort of low hum of a power tool for longer than 30 seconds. And I go absolutely just unhinged. I can't, I can't handle it. I cannot handle it. There's something about it that drives me bonkers. And I had it for two straight days. Now I, I'm complaining in a first world way because I obviously wanted this done and was paying someone to do this for me because I don't want to wash my house. But it's also, I don't think it's ever been like washed from all the way up, all the way down. They also did the fence in the backyard. Like it was, it was great. The driveway, the sidewalk, all of it so nice it's and it looks beautiful like do not get me wrong i'm very happy with it but also i thought i was gonna die from the low hum and there's there's parts of me that you know when i get on tiktok and they say things like are you sure you don't have autism and i'm like you know <laughs> like, there's a part of me that's like maybe i don't know and it's rough okay let's try a new bronzer this is i don't know what color this is going to be on my face this is the gimme glow good times and tan lines bronzer it was on sale and it looks all kinds of yellow so let's try it <laughs> this looks like totally the wrong color let's go <laughs> I mean why not right it's just us here watch it be like beautiful and I'm sitting here being ugly about it I'm not really I just don't know that this color is right for me but here we are when I, I say when I tan like I tan if I were to tan it would be red not like a beautiful olive yellow or something. But anyway, we're going to put it on our face today. It's a beautiful texture, I'll tell you that. It's okay. We're fine. It's fine. We're going to work it out. The skin tint has... It's really pretty. It's just not much as far as coverage goes. But that's okay. This is okay. We're just trying new things. That's pretty, right? But it is yellowy. As predicted. Okay. And then... I was going to use a pinky blush, but now that I'm very yellowy. Oh, I know. Let's use Scooch Over, friends. Do I have any blush? Hmm. Oh, I do have the one from my Beautylish Lucky Box still sitting here. I think this is the Wayne Goss blush palette. Isn't this pretty? This is Petal. No, it's not. It's Nectar. No, it's not. It's nectar. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, so let's use that. That's not the right brush. Okay, let's use this. It's a peachy. Yeah, that's pretty. That will do. So. So many peoplings to do this weekend. We're also going to go ahead and use that highlighter because we're here. And then the weekend after, I still have more peopling to do. I think it's like three weeks and three weekends in a row I will have peopling to do, which is 
super duper lot for me. Typically, I can handle about one peep wing a weekend, and then I need to like totally rest for the rest of the weekend to get ready for work, to be able to people again, like on Monday at work, you know? But that ain't gonna be how this one plays out because there's lots of peopling to do. So some of them, most of them are peoplings that do not really drain me that much. I need to set under my eyes better than this, which is good because that will help. It won't make it all better, but it will definitely help. I have certain people in my life that aren't uh, super draining for me. It's still interaction and it's still socialization that does give me less energy, but it's not as bad as if I have to be on constant on with these people. Like, for example, my sisters. Um, I don't have to like, I'm not as on with them as I would be with other folks. So that's good that I don't have them like draining me as much, but they're still like, a lot of peopling left to do. I'm gonna put something on my lips. This is very expensive, and so I need to use it. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. I bought this a while back, like years. And it's one of these things that I'm working on this year of using the products that were expensive that I'm like, oh, I should save this for a really special time. No, you shouldn't, just use the dang thing. So that's one of the things I'm trying to like use the dang thing. Okay, we got blush, bronzer, highlighter. Let's spray our face. Is there a spray? This is terrible. Let's use it. <laughs> this is the J Cat Makeup Setting Spray. It says infused with cucumber. It's a weird smell. It's like fake cucumber. I don't know. I mean, we're going to use it up because why wouldn't we? But do not recommend. Nah. Nope. Mm -mm. I have, I'm spoiled for choice for eyeshadows and things. Oh, I will tell you one look I did right before my nose had a moment. It was, it's my, with my Ladybug Glow palettes. I did the, you can't really tell on camera. This is like a rainbow. So there's this, so I put my finger straight across and then went straight across my lip. So I had like beautiful rainbow shift. And then I took this mint kind of, it's kind of not mint, but it's kind of not teal. It's somewhere in the middle. And then I just buffed that above and it was a, it came out really pretty in pastel with those beautiful shimmers on top. So I love that look, but I don't know that it's even going to pick up on camera. I've also tried the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Palette, which looks like my mini nude palette. It is fabulous, gorgeous. I would recommend that to anyone that likes neutrals. Thank you so much, Christy, for that. Uh, for my birthday, and I liked it very much. Let's, I don't know what else I want to use. I mean, there's literally so much sitting here. I did want to do, actually, let's do this one while we're here. Let's just go ahead and get this one out of the way. This is the Cosmic Cowgirl from AOA Studio. This is the Celestial one. These are so pretty. I swatched them in the haul that I got them in, and they are so soft and beautiful. I went ahead and picked up a second color and I think I they're in my haul for to film today but let's use the one that I already have out first and let's get some brushes I'm gonna set my eye primer with my little Clinique single because it's like a nothing color and then we'll go from there so let's talk reading and watching while I do, I don't know if I want to use this purple. So we might go, we might do like a that look. Yeah. This is super powdery in the pan, like 
like beyond powdery. So good luck with that. These are baked, I believe. Yeah, these are baked eyeshadows from AOA Studio. I don't know if they're 188, 155, but I don't I think they're a little bit more than a dollar. Um, but this cosmic cowgirl line has been very interesting. The primer is quite good. I have a couple other things from it, and it's actually really nice. Um, anyway, an interesting concept of cosmic cowgirl, but whatever. So Recently, watching and reading. I did read A uh, Tempest for Tea. It just came out. I got it the day that it was published and read it the next day. So, read it in one day. It was the weekend. Um, and really, really loved it. It will be a duology. Don't know when the second novel will be published of it. But boy, howdy, that was good. Um really really pleased i love the way she writes i love the way that author writes so highly recommend a tempest for tea but know that it's not complete yet and then let's see um i have i finished up the tj clune wolf series it was, it was good. It really was. I'm going to try to pick this up on a brush, but let's, let's see how she goes. I mean, you can kind of get it, but you might as well just, you know, cut out all the hassle and just use your finger. Is this like shedding everywhere? Is that what we're doing? Hmm. We kind of are. We really are. <laughs> Hold, please. Why are we shedding everywhere? Are you not like an actual shadow? Can you not just apply on my eyeball, please? Ooh, I don't know if I like you. Huh. What are we doing, kids? I don't know if I like that at all. It is crumbly. I mean, we're going to make it work, but I'm leaving the front part intentionally clear of anything because we're going to use the other shade. That's like a champagne. But glory be. I mean, do we need a glitter glue or... I don't want to be using all that for an AOA Studio palette. I mean, it's pretty, but I would not. No. Not on that one. All right, here's the champagne shade, which is a different texture. Oh, gosh. See, yeah, that's what I was anticipating. Okay, we'll go with that. Glory be. Well, we got to act out tonight. But we sure did. I wouldn't recommend that. So the mattes are beautiful. This one shimmer is beautiful. That copper is not for us. Not for me, anyway. That is not for us. It's a pretty color, but it's not. The texture is just... Mm -mm. I would absolutely with those three, but I ain't gonna mess with that copper again. No, thank you. Okay. Let's see here. I just, I can't even tell you how much is on this vanity. It is disturbing as I knock things down. I do want to try my water activated eyeliner from Sunset Makeup. I used the one from JCat. I did just eyeshadow to complement my Band-Aid uh, the other day. And I used that one and it's gorgeous so all you do is wet your brush and put it in put your wet brush in the in the liner like the cake liner and then it becomes liner question mark what color am I going to use let's go blue let's just do it this um sunset makeup is an indie brand and it is amazing 
I have at least one dedicated video to products that I have. I did a full face. I don't know if they're even, it doesn't matter. But isn't that a beautiful color? That's like part of what I really love. I mean, but if I wanted to make it more pastel, I could or whatever. So obviously I use the one in the middle, but this is just the basic primary colors plus some. And then I've also got a palette from Glisten Cosmetics. All of those are water activated liners too. I'm obsessed. I love them because if I got like a liquid liner, a, a blue liquid liner or a purple or a pink, I would use it a few times and then it would be dried out. Like it would be, it's a waste because I don't use super color liners that often. But two things, one, I'm using them more often because how easy it is, because I get it to the consistency that I'm comfortable with and the brushes are super thin and great. And then I just, I can mix any color I want and it doesn't go bad because it dries. And then all you have to do to use it again is to wet your brush and go from there. Anyway, that's it, that's that. Um, let's put on some lashes, some lashes. Let's do the Catrice Glam and Doll Volume, which I really like. I am scheduled for another lash lift because it is so time and I really like not curling my lashes like a lot more than I ever thought that I would. I don't think that I'm ever going to be in a lash extension person. I just, I wear eye makeup a lot. I like being at the end of the day when I'm tired, just washing my face and not having to worry about, you know, I can't use this near my eyelashes or whatever. I don't want to go through that. So I'm just going to stick with a lash lift because it seems to work and it lasts long enough. And then I go back. I'm going to put blue mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the Wisp Mascara, mascara from Away Studio. The wand is from a Marc Jacobs mascara that I washed after I was done using it because I didn't like the wand in the Wisp mascara. The bristles were too far apart for me. So I just found a wand that fit and then went from there. We gonna make it work around here. That's what we do. We have some cleanup on that eye, but don't worry about it. We'll get it. They have a green mascara, this beautiful cobalt blue. I don't know if they have another color or not, but I have the green, but I haven't used it. I've only, it's like I only really need one colored mascara out at a time. I don't use it very often, but I like the way that looks. Okay, let's get a little bit of that cleaned off. I just can't help touching the skin in a couple of places on my lower lash line. I don't know. Can't help myself. Okay. There's that. I know. It's a different bit of a look, but it'll do. Lips. Let's use one of the Gimme Glow nude lip glosses that I got that all look the same. Let's use this one. This is the shade Gorgeous Grunge. It's a little flat paddle.
Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Yes, it is. Courgeois. There she is. There's our look. I like it. I would not use that copper again. Negative. And I might, I don't know. I might see if I can't, but they're baked. You're not going to be able to depot. Oh. <clears throat> that copper's getting everywhere inside. Are they in pans? They might be. Are they in little silver pans down there? Yeah, they are. Maybe we can get them out. Maybe we can get out these three and put them in, you know, one of our big old Z palettes to like mix and match. Because I don't mind those three. I'd really mind that copper. But anyway, there she is. We are, we're something with this look tonight with our band-aid. It's fine. It'll be fine. So let's agree we're going to meet back here and do a haul. And then, you know, maybe we'll do some swatch videos too so you can see all the things. Also, I'll show you in this haul what I got for my birthday from Mr. Mugwump and what I gave myself beauty-wise for my birthday <laughs> because I did give myself things for my birthday. So come on back and we'll watch it together. Thank you so much for hanging out with me uh, and getting ready. And uh, I appreciate y'all. See you soon.